and western side of the Big Bend region. However, we have clouds coming from different directions. Some of those daytime clouds coming in from the southeast with that low level flow that we've been feeling. That's this breeze around the high pressure in the Atlantic. Some clouds rolling in from west to east, and that's with the upper wind pattern. And that is going to help to drive a front into some of the deep south states, but it's also going to cause that same frontal system to stall. And it could bring some showers across the interior portions of the southeastern U.S., but not a whole lot of rain to be spread around here. But we will continue to see some of the scattered cloud cover right through tonight and tomorrow morning, so it won't be the brightest of Tuesdays, and we will have times where the sky can be completely overcast. But we're not going to have a lot of triggers that would give us widespread rain activity. I do think a couple brief passing showers are possible near and north of Lake Seminole tomorrow. So maybe just a few raindrops and very limited accumulations of rain, if anything at all. Maybe a few more breaks in the cloud coverage for tomorrow night into Wednesday morning. But we will see this on again, off again cloud cover pattern right through the next several days. And as a result, we won't have any sweeping cold fronts and no big cold snaps coming our way. So that does result in low temperatures tonight in the mid and upper 50s, maybe close to 60 if we continue with a breeze along the coast. I do think it will slack off, though. And even with scattered cloudiness, we'll get back into the mid and upper 70s tomorrow, maybe even infringing on 80 degrees in some areas of the lower Suwannee Valley. A moderate to high rip current risk for the coast with a light chop on bay and inland waters with east to southeast winds through tomorrow morning. Wind speeds backing off a bit by the afternoon and seas will decrease as well. The extended first alert forecast, we told you late last week, a first alert for some 80 degree temperatures and it is still solidly in the picture starting midweek and continuing. We're not looking at extreme or record breaking heat, but maybe a steady flow of 80 to 83 degree highs and lows closer to 60 degrees by the end of this week.